1044 now and we're following that breaking news in New Haven. We told you about just a few minutes ago. Wilbur Cross High School is in lockdown right now. Uh, no, so let's bring in Fox 61's Tony Terzi. He's already there. He's been speaking to parents and speaking to students. Uh, Tony, one of the notes we got in the reporting from our assignment desk was that police there are at least uh, talking about th this report of a gun and they're treating it as a hoax until they get other information. Just curious to see if that's what you're hearing in any way, shape or form. That's correct, Tim, and uh, there has been no update yet from police. They said they expect to have an update very soon. But one development since we last talked about 20 minutes ago, uh, Principal Edith Johnson came out to talk to parents who were waiting for an update, waiting for their children to be released. And she said very shortly school buses will come and one classroom at a time, students will be brought outside. They'll be brought to another part of the parking lot to wait for their respective buses, and they will go home. So they've gone from lockdown to early dismissal mode. So uh, obviously, they feel it's safe enough for the students to move about and uh, come on out of the school right now. Right now, we have a senior who just came out about five minutes ago. Andy Mulatto. Andy, what was it like this morning and how did you hear about this threat? Well, I came to school. I wasn't going to come to school and then I literally just got in like 10 minutes in when they said lockdown. And then my, my aunt kept calling me and calling me like three times back to back. I don't know what was happening. And then she told me there was somebody in the school or if there was somebody with a gun or something. And then I low got scared, right? Because who, who wouldn't? Your life's on the line. You don't know what's going to happen. And then when we were leaving, they also took my friend just in case, just because he fit the description. So then it's kind of like traumatizing in a way. So Andy, here's a description. You guys may have seen this. The principal, Edith Johnson, sent an email out to teachers saying, please calmly look at all students in your classroom or in the spaces where you are locking down. If you have a student who matches this description, dark hoodie, black face mask, jeans, white Timberland boots, light complexion, and is a male. Billy, slide over here. Uh, flatbed's trying to get in here. Um, and that was the description that she asked that you email her in the office and calmly do it. The parents have been have been saying for the last few minutes, everything has been very orderly here. The principal, Edith Johnson, was was very calm with them. Again, the students are now being uh, released one classroom at a time, and apparently they believe that it's safe enough to do so. As Tim mentioned at our the top of our report, police have said that they believe it's a hoax and will treat it as such until they find evidence that's not. Now, I've been told police are not saying anything, but I've been told a phone call came in from a student's phone with the threat of a gun on campus. We'll stay on top of this. This is one of several schools now shut down today. Uh, Eli Whitney in Hamden, as of 45 minutes ago, was in lockdown. Hamden High School is closed, and now early dismissal here at Cross. Live in New Haven, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 Morning News. Tony, I have a question for you. Wondering if maybe you can ask this to the student that you were just talking about. Earlier, we heard from another student who mentioned that students from other schools have gotten into their school there at Wilbur Cross. I'm wondering if you could ask that student that you have right there I'm gonna, what the process yeah. is, how frequent is that. it that other students go into that school, students that don't attend there, and is there any safety precautions in place to keep students from other schools yeah. out of that school if that's not the school they attend? Andy, Erica Arias, one of our anchors, wants to know, we spoke to a student about 20 minutes ago who said, students from other schools are able to get into your school. Is that true? Yes, a lot of students have came in just like, because it's, it's, it's easy, because all they do is check your book bag. Not all security is going to recognize your face. So then they just So come. you don't have to show an ID or nothing. anything? You just come in, you just put your book bag on the table, they check it, and if you have nothing, you're all good to go in. So they assume you're a student at this school when in actuality you might not be. Might not be, yeah. And that's 
that's bad. I, that's what we used to have IDs, which it would have been way better and safer, but they didn't give them out this year. So we don't know who goes to school and who doesn't. Well, th thank you, Andy. I appreciate it. Good luck today. Um, so we're going to have to check on that. Thank you, Erica, for that follow-up question with Dr. Eileen Tracy, the superintendent of schools, to see if there is a uniform policy system-wide. And according to this student and the other, uh, there is no checking of IDs. We'll get that stuff straightened out for you. And again, we'll update you on air and online at fox61.com and on the Fox 61 News app once we go off air at 11. Tim and Erica, back to you. And Tony, right, Tony, thanks. And thanks for getting that question answered for me. It's interesting. I would have thought that they would have a student ID card with a barcode that you would scan or something when you go in. It's, but if it's open and anybody can go in, who knows who else is going in and what they're bringing in. It's one of those question, uh, answers that just leads to more questions. Like, what? Why? <laughs> first, yeah, first Why thing is first. that? Yeah, amazing. All right, well, thank you so much, Tony. Uh, we'll check back in with him in a little bit.